Hi, fifth grade. So we're going to talk about the methods for finding volume using our Omnifix cubes. So method one is just counting all the cubes in the rectangular prism, just one by one. But the trick with that is we have to make sure that we count all of them, even the ones we can't see. So for my example shape, it's pretty straightforward. I would just count individually and kind of snake around it and then make sure I also did that back part. But this gets tricky if we had a piece like that. And if we only look at it from the front, we might miss those. So you want to be careful with this method, but it's still valid. Okay. Method two is to count the cubes in the bottom layer of the rectangular prism. And then we multiply it by how many layers that is. So when we're talking about layers, we're saying... Um, if it's a rectangular prism just like this, so not anything special on the back. Okay, that won't work. We can break it apart by taking off the bottom, and this is a layer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six cubes in that layer, and we're going to multiply it by the number of total layers. So one, two, three, four, or the height, and that will give us our volume. So that would be six times four. The last method is just the standard algorithm for finding volume. It is that length, so one, two, three times the width, one, two times the height, one, two, three, four. Um, so method two and three actually kind of go together. Method two just combines two of those dimensions into one. So it's kind of simplified. But I hope that is helpful. Use whatever strategy is best for you. Just be mindful for volume that we count all the cubes in, even if we can't see them. All right, you got this.